Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. That's a beautiful beach right there. Makes me thirsty setting out here in the sun. Let's just see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. Hey, today we got another one from Three Floyds. This is one of them that Kyle rounded up for me and sent to me. This is Robert the Bruce Scottish Style Ale from Three Floyds. And it is a, I don't think it has it on a six. It's got a lot of condensation on it, it's right out of the fridge. Sweating profusely. Uh, 6.5% ABV on this one, guys. And it's not an expensive beer. You just paid $1.79 for it, so not too bad a price for a good quality beer. There is no date on these guys. They don't date their beers, so. Uh, they're out of Indiana. It is a Scottish ale. Availability says year-round. The notes on this, it says 30 IBUs, so about half of what the beer we did from them yesterday was, but... That was an awesome beer. If it had a date on it, it got to 10. This is a bold Scottish ale with a complex malty body derived from roasted and crystal malts balanced with just the right combination of hops. This ale pours a deep, deep ruby color, has a sweet malty nose with layered caramel and roasted notes and a full body. Robust yet smooth. Robert the Bruce is a malt lover's delight, guys. That's what it says here. Brewed pairings for this, it says none. I don't know why I would say that. Uh, this is a Scottish ale. It's going to be a, a malty, a robust malty ale. So it's going to go with some of your stronger dishes here, guys. Especially being a 6.5%. 6.5%, which is a 6.5%. It's going to go well with most of your dishes. So. Let's get on with this. Some glassware, the pint, Becker, the Stein, the mug, the tumbler, the side down. I got the pint glass today, guys. The uh, the beer is not recommended for extended cellar rings. I don't know, unless it's hot forward, I don't see why that. You'd be able to keep it a year or two, maybe even three at six and a half percent. But we're not going to keep it that long. We're going to pop a cap on this bad boy and see what it's about. Thanks again, Kyle, for rounding these up and sending them to me. I cannot get three Floyd beers here. Into the glass. Fairly aggressive pour there. Gives us about a finger of the head on that one. And over into the light, it is a red ruby color. It is exactly as the notes described it. You can see the light right through it. Fairly clear. Don't believe it's bottle condition. Looks like it's a filtered beer. Looks pretty good in the glass. A lot of bubbles streaming up. Not over carbonated. Let's get a nose on it. Wow. Very sweet smelling. Caramel and toffee. Maybe just a little bit of dark fruit, maybe some raisins or dates or something. Got a wonderful sweet a barley aroma. Maybe some rye in there too. It smells very tasty, very sweet. Let's see what it's about. Cheers everybody. Thanks again Kyle. Very sweet. Very easy drinking. No alcohol taste there. Not bitter at all. Very, very sessionable. This is a little on the sweeter side, so. Some of the stronger dishes, this may be a little too sweet for. Wow, it is delicious though. Wow, very tasty guys. If you 
just come to put a date on the damn bottles. What's up with that, y'all? Very tasty right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. Let's have the other half taste it, see what she thinks of it, and we'll come back after it warms up just a little bit and do the final chug. We got back, guys. Hey right, guys, I'm back up just a little left here. This is a very tasty Scottish ale. Doesn't remind me of a Scottish ale, though. It's a lot sweeter than most of the Scottish ales are, in my opinion. But it's still very tasty, very sessionable, very sweet. It's a very nice beer, though. Very tasty, very sessionable. How much of Roasted malt, caramel, toffee. I'm drooling on myself here. A little dark fruit in there, maybe some raisin, dates or figs or something like that, but very, very pleasant. Awesome beer for $1.79. Very tasty, very sessionable. It almost reminds me of a, of a sweet brown ale instead of a Scottish ale. So. That's just my opinion of what I'm thinking of the beer, guys. So, uh, very sweet, very nice. Uh, very delicious. Oh, well, I wish I could get the three Floyds uh, beers here. Kyle, thanks again for sending this to me. Uh, not quite to the caliber of the uh, zombie dust that we did yesterday, but still rather enjoyable. And for the price, uh, a very decent price. A dollar seventy-nine cents for this. Uh, very easy drinking. Very sessionable. I keep saying that, but it is. I mean, I don't get any of the alcohol. It's six and a half percent. Very well made beer, guys. So, uh, like I said, no dates on any of the uh, Three Floyds beers. So, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it to eight, which is an A minus. If it had had a date on it, it had probably got the nine. But it has no date, and a lot of that's not important to a lot of people, but it is to me. That's my soapbox to stand on. I'm not gonna stop fussing about it until we see a date on everything. Just like food, you wouldn't go to the store and buy bread or milk without a date on it. Why would you want to buy a beer that doesn't have a date on it? It's just it ought to be a law. It ought to be a freaking law that they can't sell the stuff without a date on it. Just my opinion. Just what I think it should happen. And it will come to that. It will happen. A lot of the brewers have stepped up to the plate since I started doing beer reviews almost three years ago. And have changed the way they do the dating. And they, you know, I mean, I've had some of them that were doing black writing on it. And it's moved up to the yellow so it's more visible. And gone away from the Julian codes and actually put a bottle down or best buy date on there where you can read it and you know when you should have it by. So I'm not going to be happy or satisfied until I get them all to do it. So get on the bandwagon with me. Let's, let's, let's raise a little hell. I'm going to give it the 8, which is an A-. The rate beer ratings is 97 overall and 100 in the style. So a lot of people think it fits the style. I think it's a little sweet for a Scottish ale to me. Just my opinion now. Yeah, don't put me, don't nail me to the cross because of it. This is just my opinion. It's not by any guideline specifications. It's just what I think. All right, guys, let's go to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 87, which is very good. And I agree with that. It, it is a very good beer. Not quite to the 10, but it's uh, definitely worth picking up if you can get your hands on one of them. So if you've had this one, give me some comments back on this one. Do like button, rate, comment, subscribe. Let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See you, baby.